learning how to play bass ukulele. Now I'm putting a series of lessons together aimed at absolute beginners on the bass ukulele. Okay, if you haven't done lesson one yet, we covered tuning your ukes, um, holding your bass ukes, straps for your bass ukuleles, um, plugging them into amps, our right hand technique, plucking the strings, and we also learned our first four notes, the open strings. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn the bottom two strings, the notes on the E string and the A string. Remember, evil ants dig graves or great danes are enormous, E-A-D-G, the names of the open strings. And so we're going to learn E, which we know, F, G, then onto the A string, which we know, B and C, okay? And then we've also got our open D and our open G that we can already do. Okay, so I've said a few letters now, all right? Now, the alphabet, okay, 26 letters, the musical alphabet's only got seven different named notes, and they're all letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then we go back to A in music. Now, my plan is to show you guys where some of these notes are on your bass ukulele, so then you can play along with the chord charts on um, ukulele play-alongs or in ukulele groups. Um, or if you jam in and somebody says, oh yeah, this is in the key of C, so it's the C, the F and the G chords, you know, right, I've got to play C, F and G on your bass ukuleles. Um, very often beginner ukulele songs will have C, F and G7. Now, we still play a G on the bass, we don't play a G7, okay, we're just keeping things simple at the minute, same way as if it's a minor chord. If a ukulele plays an A minor, we just play an A on the bass, so I'm going to keep things really nice and simple. Let's just remind ourselves then of the fingerboard a minute, there we go, see the diagram. Um, open strings, E string, A string, D string, and the G string. If you're not sure of those yet, you really need to be absolutely solid on them because you can then work out other notes, okay? So notes on the E string to start with, okay? Our thickest string. Now, things you've got to think about, our fingers and our thumb, where they are going to go. And remember, we pluck across, not away. From the instrument we pluck across okay so we're going to try and play our f which is our first fret on the thickest string so we've got to lay our first finger quite flat but this is quite important here let me flick my base there look my thumb is on the back in the middle of the neck okay I go like that you can see it that way if i go like that you can see it if you bring your thumb round here, you physically can't stretch your fingers, okay? So it's really important, and if you can do this from the beginning, it'll be so much better for your future playing. Your thumb goes in the middle of the back, and that means that if I wanted to, I could stretch my fingers much more, okay? So that's where we place our hands. Our fingers go quite flat, and our thumb goes in the middle of the back of the neck. Let's play the notes then. So we've got E, our open string. Then our first fret, we play with our first finger, F. And then our third fret is a G. Okay, so we've got E, F, G. Now, I'm used to playing bass guitar and double bass um, and the scale, when I say scale, I mean the length of the instrument are much bigger and that means you've got to stretch your hands much further, okay? So this gives you a choice now. If you want to, there is nothing stopping you doing 
first finger, first fret, third finger, or your ring finger, third fret, with the dot. It's perfectly easy to stretch, okay? E, F, G. But there's nothing wrong with you playing it as E, F, and G, putting all four fingers down. Now, but what is important, these are big strings, all right? Your little finger's only little. So don't try and press the note or the string down with just a little finger. Make sure all your fingers are pressing down because it helps push the string down, okay? So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'll come in close for you. So there's E, F, G. E, F, G. Hang on, we learnt G in lesson one. Different G, all right? Low G, high G. Okay, so I can play a G on my E string, but I can still also play open G string. Let's just have a little practice of that. Two E's, two F's, two G's. E. going. I know it feels strange, it's hard if you've never done it before, it's a big thick string to be pressing down. Put all your fingers down. Okay, I'll come in a little bit closer. So, E, E, F, F, G, G, F. I'll swap to my third finger this time. So still first. G. Okay. Right, same as I do with the students in school. Let's have a little test of those three notes to see if you can get them. All right. So E. Got it. Open string. G. Got it. Third fret. E. Open string. F. Got it. First fret. Okay. G. Got it. Third fret. Okay. Notes on the A string this time. Remember, evil, ants, dig, grave. So there's our A string. Okay, so it's going to be an A, open A. Our next note is our B, and we're going to play this second fret on the A string. And I'm going to use my middle finger. So it's going to be A, B, and then my third fret is my C. So A, B, C. I'll come in a bit closer. Okay, so there's our A string, second fret, all right, but I'm putting my middle finger on it, so A, B, and then third fret is my C, and again, you can play it with your ring finger, or you can play it putting all your fingers down, A, B, C. Remember though, my thumb is in the middle of the back of the neck. Okay, I'll do it one more time. A, second fret, B, third fret, C. So you might be wondering, well, why aren't we playing the first fret on our A string? We're going back to theory a minute, okay? We have something called sharps and flats. I'm going to explain that in a future lesson. For now, I just need you to remember it's second fret on the A string is our B and then third fret is our C, okay? Right, let's have a little practice of that for a moment. So we're going to do two A's, two B's, two C's, okay? I'll count us in, three, four. 
A A B B C C B B A A. Okay, let's try it again. I'll come in a bit closer. So, remember, flat fingers, thumb in the back. Three, four. A A B B C C B B A A. Let's just do a little test as well. So play me an A. Got it. Our open string. Play me a B. Got it. Second fret. Play me another A. Got it. Open string. Okay. Play me a C. Got it. Third fret. Play me a B. Got it. Second fret. Okay. So notes on the A string. A, B, C. Now you may not have noticed the pattern on the E string. Remember E, first fret F, third fret G. In music, what comes after G? A. All right, now it's more obvious than the A string. Let's look at it. So A, second fret B, third fret C. What comes after C? D, which is our next open string. Okay, so little patterns starting to emerge already, but again, don't worry about the frets we're not learning today. We will look at those in another lesson. Right, so what have we done so far? We've done the notes on the E string, E, F, G, notes on the A string, A, B, and C. Okay, so let's try and put those together now. What we're going to do is do two of each, so two E's, two F's, two G's, two A's, two B's, and then two C's. Okay, so walk in, remember, using our two fingers, pulling the strings across. We're doing it nice and slow to start with. All right, one, two, three, four. E, E, F, F, G, G, A, a, B, B, C, C. Okay, we'll try that again. I'll come in a bit closer. Okay, so we're still practicing. All right, two on each. Here we go. Three, four. E, E, F, F, G, G, A, A, B, B, C, C. Okay, let's go back down the other way. So starting from the top, from our third fret on the A string now. All right, two Cs, two Bs, and so on. Going backwards through the alphabet. Three, four, C, C, B, B, A, A, G, G, F, F, E, E. Okay. Let's have a little test of the two strings and the notes we've just learnt. Okay, are we ready? F. Got it. First fret on the E string. C. Got it. Third fret on the A string. G. Got it. Third fret on the E string. A. Got it. Open A string. B. Got it. Second fret on the A string. Let's go a little bit faster now. E. Got it. Open E string. G. Got it. Third fret on the E string. B, got it. Second fret on the A string. C, got it. Third fret 
on the A string, okay? Keep testing yourself, get somebody else to ask them to you, okay? Learning it this way, all right, so you know where the notes are, means you're gonna be playing along with songs very soon. Right, rhythm, all right, really important aspect of playing the bass ukulele. Um, if you think a rock band, you've got a drummer who keeps the beat, and the bass player is part of the rhythm section, okay? And a lot of the time, the bass player is helping to keep the beat as well. If you're playing in a ukulele group, you probably haven't got a full drum kit playing. You might have a con drum, but very often it's down to the bass player to keep the beat. So how do you know what the beat is? Um, play along videos, all right? We're back to the ukuleleans again, okay? they really help you play along keeping in time, okay? So the idea of these videos here, me teaching you where the notes are, it means you can then go along and play along with the play along videos with the ukuleles, or in fact, on the ukulele insight, playing along uh, with the original song. The chord charts are on there. You see the chord C, you just play a C on your bass. You see um, a chord of G or G7, you just play the G on your bass. So you're keeping it really simple, but you've got to learn to play in time. So the rhythm itself, okay, uh, let's just find a G for a minute, okay? So third fret on my E string. I'm playing along and I'm trying to just keep on the beat. So if I'm counting most songs are in four, occasionally they're in three, but I'm gonna stick with four for now. So I'm just counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can play just on beats one and three. I could play on every beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For now, we're just playing the note from the chord. We're not trying to put anything fancy in, okay? And honestly, less is more. I promise you, as a bass player, um, you don't need to go putting loads of extra notes in. Certainly not when you're starting out. Keep it simple, okay? So keep the rhythms on the main beat, but use play-along videos to help you keep in beat. Right, you've noticed I've got my lovely purple glittery bass out now. Um, it's exactly the same to play. Okay, so just before we actually play along with some songs, um, I just want to explain again how we read ukulele chord charts and transfer those onto the bass. And that means then you can then go along onto the ukuleleans and pick some play along songs that practice our new notes to. All right, so let's think about this logically. Most beginner ukulele songs are in the key of C. That means the main chords they're gonna be using are C, F and G, or G7. So let's think about our new notes on here. C is one, two, third fret on the A string, okay? F, first fret, and then our G, which we would also play for G7, is 3rd fret on the E string, okay? So when we see a C chord, we play a C, F, F, and so on, all right? So there are absolutely stacks of songs on the ukuleleans which have those three chords, C, F, and G, or G7. There are also quite a few that have A minors, which would be our open A, all right? And one or two that have got a D or a D7 chord in it as well. I'm just thinking of the real easy beginner ones at the minute, and of course, we know our D, our open D. Now, <clears throat> as I said, there's loads of those songs to go along and play using those simple notes that we're learning today, but, there are also loads of songs. It looks like there's loads of ukulele chords. Um, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, perfect example. All right, it's one of the most recent ones 
I've uploaded the ukulele ends. So there we go, the chord chart for that has just appeared. It looks like there's loads of chords on there at the minute. A7, A minor, A minor 7, C, C7, C major 7, D, D minor, F, F minor and G7. That's actually 11 different chords to play on the ukulele. But you don't have to learn 11 different notes on the bass uke. All right, let's look at them a bit more in detail. So A7, A minor and A minor 7. You just play an A on your bass ukulele. C, C7 and C major 7. You just play a C note on your bass ukulele. D and D minor. You just play a D on your ukulele. F or F minor. You would just be playing an F on your bass ukulele and then G7, you're just playing a G. So suddenly you've gone from 11 chords on the ukulele to A, C, D, F and G. Five different notes on your bass, you've halved the amount, okay? And this is what I mean about keeping it simple and just easily learning these notes right at the start of your bass. Let's play along with some ukulele behind me, all right, my assistant. I'm using the tutorials to play along today, um, but of course you guys can also go along over to the Ukuleleans channel and play along with the originals as well. So at the beginning of the video, you saw me playing a little bit of this song, rocking all over the world, a bit of status quo. Uh, it's got three chords, so therefore it's got three notes for us, our C, so A string, 3rd fret, an F, so E string, 1st fret, and a G, E string, 3rd fret, all right? So this is just to give you an idea of playing along to a beat, but again, use the play along videos on the Ukuleleans channel to really get through the song, okay? Here we go, let's have a go. So I'm just... Go, so it's a little introduction. There's a helper. So C. Stay on C. F. Back to C. G. Back to C. So I'm just keeping it simple. On to F. Pulling the strings across. Back to C. play along with that one and remember it's just the three notes you've got to remember so a little bit of see you later alligator same three notes okay so our first note again is our C so one two third fret on the A string okay then an F first fret on the E string and then a G third fret on the E string and remember you can play it with your ring finger your third finger or with your pinky entirely up to you all right so see you later alligator you've got a swing tempo today. okay here we go especially when you're starting to play along, on a C really notice it there so it starts on a C okay are it really will help you practice all right keep it simple there are some songs which have just got two notes in them all right but the ones that have got C F and G 
All right, get practice in those. Remember, pull your fingers across, all right? Keep your fingers nice and flat. And same as on my solid, look, my thumb is in the middle of the back. I can't stress that enough. So that's the end of lesson two. We've actually covered quite a lot, if you think about it. Um, tuning your base ukes, straps, how to hold them, plugging them in, plucking, so your right hand technique, your open strings, the fretboard. And then today's lesson, we learnt um, some more notes, our left hand technique, keeping your fingers nice and flat, where you put your thumb on the back of the neck, um, and use play-alongs to practice. Okay, I do hope these lessons are helping. Give us a like if you've enjoyed them. Leave a comment or a question below if you've got one. Any videos I've mentioned, I'll leave the links in the description below. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. But as always, thank you for watching.